We've heard for two years now the excuses from the mainstream media and from Hollywood that the reason so many big budget Hollywood movies are flopping is because of the pandemic. People don't want to go out during the pandemic. The pandemic is scaring people away. Well, here's Avatar 2 and $2 billion later, they continue to prove that wrong. The reason people aren't going to the movie theaters has nothing to do with COVID-19 or the pandemic and everything to do with they don't think that Hollywood's putting out things that are worth their time. But if they do think something's worth their time, they will show up in droves. That's exactly what happened with Avatar 2. Today it passed $2 billion at the global box office. Avatar 2 continues box office domination. Puss in Boots sequel stays surprisingly strong. And I do have to say this. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, unironically, is an incredible movie. If you haven't watched this movie, you really should if you have an opportunity to. I don't often say that or give that big of endorsements for movies, especially animated movies that are geared towards a younger audience. For real, go watch Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. It's really, really good. But this is about Avatar. James Cameron's blockbuster sequel, Avatar The Way of Water, has claimed the number one spot for the sixth consecutive weekend. The sci-fi epic added $20 million over the weekend, declining roughly 40% from its prior outing. It's currently the 13th highest grossing domestic release. Not, not exactly as high as you might think for something like that, but when it comes to internationally, it is dominating the box office. Notably, The Way of Water is officially the sixth film to ever cross the $2 billion mark. It's amassed a staggering $2.02 billion at the worldwide box office, and it will soon dethrone Avengers Infinity War, and soon after that, The Force Awakens to claim the fourth highest spot ever. And when you look at this, this is a massive, massive movie. There's no doubt about that. However, it also had a massive budget. We talked about that. Roughly $400, $460 million production budget ad marketed on top of that. The break even was somewhere around $1.5 billion. With all that being said, still a big win for James Cameron. He's going to end up with three of the top four grossing movies of all time when this is all said and done between Avatar, Avatar 2, and Titanic, which is pretty insane to think about. But this is a movie that just keeps going and going and going and going. And this is an era when the same company that distributed it, obviously, this all started under Fox before Disney bought 20th Century Fox. But when you look at these other Disney movies, like Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, like Multiverse of Madness, like Thor, Love and Thunder, when they have these opening weekends and then they just die off, yeah, you know, they don't get near the amount of staying power that you would expect them to have. It's become, hey, big opening weekend, 65% drop, and then it tails off and is a disappointing box office movie. That's what we've seen from all of these big Marvel releases. The same can't be said for Avatar. This looks a lot like the way Top Gun Maverick looked because quite simply put, it's a simple movie. And I think that's really what people want. It's a simple movie. Does it have environmental messaging in it? Absolutely, it does. But at the core, it's just a story about a family, about a strong father, a strong masculine father who is trying to do what's right for his family and trying to protect his children. Nearly everybody can relate to that in the same way that nearly everyone could relate to Tom Cruise's character in Top Gun Maverick. Again, a simple story, not reinventing the wheel, but having something that a lot of people can get behind. And it is just one more nail in the coffin that shows this is what people are wanting out of Hollywood. Uh, they are tired of the same old thing out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, taking these characters that people know and love and bastardizing them for the purpose of identity politics, emasculating the men in order to uplift all the strong women. Avatar The Way of Water continues to make waves at the box office, passing $2 billion globally.